Yeah, I'm going back to be a host of the guy. Now there's international now here. Push for. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. Four. Go boy, off it. Internet. Uh, here's my head level. This is uh, international. Hey, oh. This is 4700. What, 4900? She said 4900. Oh. Oh, he's Don't want to run out of the fence. I want to be hitting the head right now. Oh. Tell this person to walk so Where you hit some stuff on the front end. Yeah. But I want my is. Right. Yeah. Oh. What are you waiting to do? It doesn't get, um, thing like that. Thank you. What if I have an international, um, engine in the truck? I don't see no horns, it must be on the steering wheel. Horns must be on the steering wheel. Step right out. What the heck did I step on? Fire steering wheel, fire steering wheel on the side. The heels, but it's all heavy, like straw. Uh, hey. I asked, uh, there's he asking what the model is on the truck. What uh, model is No, the model. Hey, no, it's international now, it's called 4700 or 4900. <laughs> Right there, maybe it's a 4900. Did you say 4900? Did you say 4900? Maybe. Or 4700? They both look the same, pretty much. It's an older, it's an older, older truck, yeah. Like the three bucks. Horns probably didn't work. I don't see no horns on top. No one if you like go looks at me. Oh, this one doesn't have air horns. This one's just got a normal street horn. Oh, nice. Most of international stair trucks, most of them, they'll have the um the normal Subaru horns or Suzu horns. I used to I used to drive truck over the road, tractor trailer truck, and then some of the trucks that I drove had the horn above the cab, and then a couple of them had it like under the cab. Right under here, underneath the doors. And often they put the train horns like white heel. Yeah. They actually one we can. I caught one that came on where it had train horns. I stepped back like a, a foot and shift. One how good they were at, though. But they had a train horn, they were truck. Like, yeah. I didn't have a freight train horn to put onto a truck. They gotta add two more air tanks on yeah. top of the air tanks they already had. The first time they pulled down on that lever to Pump the air horn, the train horn, it's gonna drain the air tanks. They won't have brakes or air brakes. Well, they'll stop. Once, once, you, once you, all the air pressure drains out of the air tanks, you're coming to a complete stop. Whether you want to or not. So, pretty much it locks up the brakes. Okay, brakes will lock up, yeah. One driver has his, a, a normal global on his truck, a train horn, 
he actually blocked every bike at a tree, like blocking the stop sign, Clint City stop sign. If he would have kept on going, he would have ran into someone, some innocent person's car. But he shouldn't see that on the stop sign. Yeah. He had his train who like one right there. Right back. And he had one. A glow boy was up there on the roof. And he actually has a Tonka toy for most of that better than he has. He has a flame on his truck. I don't even know what he's going to do about it. Oh, that's a nice truck there. Very nice. Yeah. Got his tandem slide into the front. So it makes the tone easier too. Oh man, if you ever, if you ever meet a truck driver like, or a trailer like, or a chain them, if they try to make a torn that can't be torn, like, or a full spot. Up in Michigan, up in Michigan, they got trailer acts like all the entire length of the trailer. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, up, up there, Michigan truck driving high like that. Like, up in Michigan, they got, in the wintertime, they got a whole different way of weighing vehicles. Up in there, because of the freeze, ground, uh, frozen ground, the trucks can weigh a whole lot more than they legally can in most other states. The Rush Michigan um, truck spot he has, uh, have, they, he films every like day, pretty much, on his dog when he's walking. I guess he had to go get the to clean off the trail. Get the weight, get the weight. Tab is only at 20%. It's not 29 Parker did a battle. So I had like nice rain or something like that. I can still hold my camera, but oh well. There's a right here, at the front. Yeah, let me wake up pretty much on um, hay. Yeah, that's good enough. Leaning against the pallet over here. One thing they actually wind it up. Why do we wonder why they had so many uh, pallets? I mean, so many. Hey, I love something. <gasps> Yay! And I'm gonna be filming two different videos today. Part two video, and then should be have Tyler Tarzan warning, guys. The next video might be creepy. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's going to be a hard, hard me whole night, pretty much. It's going to be a hard, horrifying video for y'all. My horn these? Huh? My horn horn these? Oh, the horn, the horn don't work. Oh. I thought it was, um... One of our good trucks, LOL. Uh -huh. I didn't know it was illegal to not have a horn. Technically it's not, but according to this company, you can drive down the road without an air horn, without a horn. Yeah, I, we had a truck like this tailgating us, like, like stop super close to us. Like, what are you stopping so close to us? Dang it, you know? And... Is that it? Is this it for, for pallets? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, both one of the best friends that we're on. But one thing, um, in Michigan with your mother, tires. Hey, at least if one thing is, if, if one, um, if one tire blows up, at least you don't have to do it. Um, at least you don't have to, um, pay to get the tire fixed for no more. Actually, you're supposed, if you blow a tire, you're supposed to stop on the side of the road here, regardless yeah. of how many you've got. Yeah. Because one of these, if one of these tires breaks, it comes apart. That's like 20 or 30 pounds of rubber flying through the air. Yeah, plus, 
It's gonna uh, make you go out of control and you're gonna be going.